Look, I get it. This is a problem. But how are you going to do us like that, man? Because these horsemen ride with the What up, Whiskey Chaser fam? Welcome back to another video. Oh my gosh, it is windy. Windy as all hell. So I was out doing some stuff and I decided that I wanted to record this because something over the last couple of years has been happening in this city. And a lot of people comment on a lot of my videos. Man, I'd love to come out to New York City. I'd love to come ride out there with you. I want to ride up there and, you know, go around and do have whatever, have fun. I totally encourage people to do that, 100% think that you should. But it kind of got me thinking about the fact that New York City hates motorcycles. They hate motorcycles, I mean, they really just hate cars in general. And over the last couple of years, they've started to hint at this new implementation of this process that is going to try to get rid of some of the cars and vehicles, gas-powered vehicles or whatever, in the city. What made me think of this video is on my way to work pretty much every day, I take the FDR down to Houston and I turn on Houston and I go across the city to the west side. I always knew that there was a school right there on the corner. New York City has a law that says that if there's a school within a certain number of blocks, I can't remember how far it is, but within a certain number of blocks from that school, they can put a speed camera, a red light camera, speed camera. Uh, so if you go over 35, which the, the city-wide speed limit is 25 miles an hour. If you're not on like the FDR or the West Side Highway, or in certain places, if it's not posted specifically, then you are not supposed to go faster than 25 miles an hour. So if you go faster than 35 miles an hour and you pass one of these cameras between 6 a.m. and I think it was 10 p.m., then you would get a ticket mailed to you. It would tag your license plate. You get a, a speed violation mailed to you wherever the vehicle is registered. Uh, and then that was that, and you had to pay it. August 1st, a new city ordinance went into effect that said these speed cameras are allowed to be on, are allowed to be uh, sending, you know, capturing these pictures of license plates for, for offenders, for people going over 35 miles an hour, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. If you speed and you're by one of these, which there's a million schools in the city, so there's a million red light cameras or speed cameras or whatever you want to call them, so they'll, they'll send you a ticket 24 hours a day. Because I know that 25 and 35 sounds like a big difference, but really it's not. When you're looking at uh, 75 to 85, that is a bigger difference because you have so much more going on. There's more wind, there's more vibration, all this whatever but between 25 and 35 like it's very easy especially in a car like to go 35 miles an hour these things are so efficient these days that 35 is nothing so it's just another little microaggression that the city is throwing at us number one try to get money out of us and number two to prevent people from driving really because even though it's they're not like oh you don't have to keep your car at home and take the train or take the bus like you can you can still drive you just can't speed okay well obviously they know what they're doing I'm actually gonna pull up and show you the cameras right up here all right this is the school right here and as you can see there's the camera like since this school has the, like you have the law that says you are allowed to put these cameras within a certain radius of this school, uh, there's gonna be one right down over there on that. 
uh, intersection. There's going to be one right over on the other intersection. There's going to be one right over there on that intersection. They're going to be all over this. And I think that you're allowed to go like three blocks out. So there's going to be probably one right over there. And then there's another school right over there. You know, technically the radius of this one will stop, but the radius of that one will extend. So they'll be able to have pretty much all of these lined up with cameras trying to catch people who are speeding. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you should speed. Especially in a school zone where there are children around. The problem I have with it is that, in tandem with other things, such as the congestion pricing, which is set to take place in 2023, which is gonna charge $23 what? for anybody who crosses over a bridge. Now, I'm not talking about the George Washington Bridge, where people from New Jersey come into the city and they pay a toll, or the Lincoln Tunnel, or the Holland Tunnel, which is the same thing, where they come in from another state or another city and they pay a toll to get into our city. But if you live in Queens and you are trying to get into Manhattan, why would you pay 23 fucking dollars? That is insane. Also, I live in Manhattan. If I ride under 59th Street, I will be charged a tax just for coming down in my own borough to a lower part of this borough. You also have to look at the fact that motorcycles are treated in this city as a car. If I pull up to a metered parking spot where I can fit bro where I can fit six motorcycles in the same space as one truck I have to pay the same price seven dollars an hour or whatever it is up to three hours or five hours or blah 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 and I have to put a sticker on my bike somewhere not a sticker it's like a little slip that I don't know if that thing's gonna fall off I don't know if somebody's gonna take it and if I don't then I get ticketed when I cross over the bridge I am considered a two-axled vehicle, therefore I have to pay the $16 or whatever it is to get back into the city. I know that guy. <laughs> so you're looking at speed cameras, you're looking at congestion taxing, and you're looking at the fact that even though I'm on a motorcycle, I still get charged the same as everybody else. And it's just showing how much this city hates motorcycles. It's freaking dumb. I'm sure some of you have heard about this in the news, but lately, over the past couple of years especially, there has been kids on dirt bikes and quads, ATVs, stuff like that, and they've been going up and down the avenues through the streets on these things that they don't have mufflers, they're really loud, they're not obeying safety laws, they're not stopping for red lights, they're just blasting through the streets, cutting around in between cars, all this kind of stuff. They're not wearing helmets. Kids being kids on dirt bikes and stuff like that. Instead of putting a stop to those kids on those dirt bikes, which they have stopped some of them. They have taken some of their bikes and crushed them. But for the most part, I literally just saw it today. I saw a dude on a dirt bike, no helmet. He was just right through the crowd. And there was a cop literally right next to him that did nothing because they know that it's only gonna cost resources to stop this kid and take his bike. Because then they're gonna have to crush the bike. And all this stuff costs money. They can't ticket him. What are they gonna ticket him for? They have nothing to do with it. So of course, they're not gonna do anything about it. However, they have no problem setting up motorcycle only checkpoints to which they will pull over legal riders and find something about their bike that they can write a ticket for. Because they know that I'm gonna pay it. They know that I'm gonna pay that speeding ticket. They know I'm gonna pay that parking ticket. They know that I'm gonna pay that safety violation, whatever, that they find, even if it's bogus, because they know that I have something to lose. I have to, I have to pay for my registration every year. I have to continue to be on the road to use this vehicle. So therefore, they know I'm gonna pay it. It's all a racket, man. There's a camera right up there. And there's one over on Houston on the other side where I get on the West Side Highway 
and I see it every single time. Every time the light turns red, it immediately starts flashing because I know that it's taking pictures of something. I don't know what. I don't know, man. Shit just pisses me off. Like, I just want to be able to get on my bike and ride and enjoy myself, go to work, come home, not have to worry about if I'm gonna get a ticket on my way, not have to worry about if I'm gonna be stopped in the middle of the street and held up for 30 to 40 minutes while some safety check goes on. While we're on that subject, it's always important to keep your paperwork on you, keep your insurance, keep your registration, keep all that kind of stuff because you never know when that can come in handy, like when you get stopped at a motorcycle only checkpoint. I don't know guys, that's my two cents. I mean, the thing is, I know that what they're doing is what they think is better for the city, because I know that there are a lot of cars here, and it does get difficult sometimes getting around, but I don't know if that's the right way to go about it. Like, imagine the only way you can get into the city from somewhere out in Brooklyn is by taking a car or driving your motorcycle or whatever because you're, you know, a mile away from the closest train station for some reason or a bus or whatever. Like, you just happen to be in that one spot that they can't get to you or you, it takes forever for you to get to them or your train is under construction and it will be for the next six months. You have to pay $23 just to get into the city for one day. Like, what if you what if you only get paid $16 an hour? <laughs> That's an hour and a half worth of work just to come to work, just to have the ability to come to work. It's ironic because we just got a new mayor and he just got a motorcycle. He was like, wow, this is awesome. It can fit anywhere. It's really fun to ride. I can park a lot more, you know, I can park closer to work because I can fit this bike between cars. I don't have to worry about finding a full on space for my car. And we're all just like, yeah, duh. Why do you think that we use it? <laughs> Why do you think we have these? I guess after all of this rambling, what I'm trying to say is, come visit me. <laughs> come visit me in New York. Bring your motorcycle, let's go ride. Don't be stupid, let's not speed. Like, don't be stupid, Corolla. I just said don't be stupid. I was literally just saying, don't be stupid. But let's have fun. And thanks for watching this, because this was a whole lot of me not making sense. At least I think it was me not making sense. I don't know. Maybe when I put this together, it'll make more sense, but... <laughs> I'm just kind of mad about it. I'm, I'm like frustrated about it. I was thinking about it the other day because I rode past that, that uh, camera and I was like, ah, bugs the shit out of me. Well, okay. But thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If you're new here, this is the Whiskey Chase channel. My name is Chase, and I make motorcycle related content around New York City. It's a lot of fun most of the time when I'm not all pissy. I actually haven't had any caffeine today too, and that might have uh, one reason why my brain has the dumb, and also that I'm a little ornery. Check out the description. I have some links down there. You can win a $250 Revzilla gift card. We are almost at 3,000, if you can believe it or not. Just a couple of weeks ago, I had 500 left until we hit 3K. Now, I have just over 300, I think. So we're getting there, moving on up. So if you wanna be entered to win that, all the information is down there. Check it out. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I love you long time, if you do. <laughs> and that's about it. Thanks for watching, folks. Leave me a comment and like the video and all the other stuff. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh man, this video is gonna make no sense. Ah!